All right, welcome back to Final Fight 3, Part 3. Here I am, beating the crap out of Billy and Dirk. Dirk and Durka. Uh, let's see. Beating up a chick, that's always fun. No, no, not really. I do not condone the beating of women at all. Not unless they owe you money. But a bum. No, really. Um, yeah, not unless they owe you money. No, actually. Um... <laughs> Being a person who's owed a lot of money by people, yeah, let's just say no. <clears throat> Alright, Joe and Johnny. When the hell did Johnny show up? What's the point of Johnny? We already got enough no-name opponents who are rather easily to dispose of. And goddamn... Joe, who reminds me kind of a Blanca, like if Blanca were a anorexic midget, that'd be Joe. Or, or Cabal, if Cabal was a midget. And again, a lot like Ryu, you guys better know who the hell Cabal and uh, Blanca are, even though they're from two different video game franchises. Still, you should know who they are. Because, I mean, hey, Cabal's just a badass. <clears throat> and you know, most guys would be happy to have three women on them, even if they did have knives. Not Guy, no. Guy just wants to beat the crap out of them. Something wrong with Guy. Maybe it's from hanging out with, what's his name, Derek and Haggard. Or, you know, maybe he's just a drunk redneck and he's very angry about his application to Street Fighter being, you know, dismissed. Oh, oil drum. I just owned that oil drum, man. And now we get another new enemy type here, the Hunters. Which are just ninjas with baseball bats, I'm guessing. Okay, I'm not really sure what Hunter is supposed to be. But he has a baseball bat in the sheath, so. For me, he's a baseball playing ninja. And Fritz. We also get Fritz, who, uh. He's really nothing more than annoying. I mean, he throws one bomb, then you never see him again. And he dies in one hit if you manage to catch him. Which I usually do. Poor Ray, he just got smacked by Dirk. You know, I played the co-op for this not too long ago. And it's good and all, I just got one complaint. It's very easy to kill your partner, especially if you guys are fighting on the same plane. Um, they really shouldn't have made it so you can injure each other. Just like, uh, I think it's Double Dragons 3, where uh, they made it where not only do you have one life, but you can also injure your partner. That was just a horrible idea for gameplay mechanics. Even if they were trying to make it difficult. Because, I mean... Now see, what the hell was the point in telling me to go if they were just going to stop me? Alright. And here's Guy's little super move where he can jump off the wall. It's not that helpful, but... I don't know. I guess it can be in some situation I have yet to find. For the most part, it's just for fun. Ooh, and the super hunt Andor. And I bust down steel with my leg. Take that, Superman. Next, the research facility. Where, apparently... Women, despite the uh, drastic exposure to radiation, are hardly required to wear any clothing whatsoever. You know, maybe this is where Andor was created. Maybe he really is a modern age Frankenstein. Or just an insane convict who, you know, has a speech impediment and slight mental retardation. You never know. Not in the world of Nintendo. 
Alright. For some reason I got a certain urge to watch the Double Dragons movie. Yeah, it's a god-awful movie, but... I don't know. It's good to watch when you're a kid. Uh, die, Fritz. See, there's like eight of them. You know this has to be some kind of cloning facility, because, let's see, I've killed Arby here. But, at least a dozen times. Same with Fat Jack. And G. Man, I've killed G how many times now? Probably 20. And he keeps coming back. So, yeah, Black, he's into some kind of odd cloning scheme. A little high-tech for your average gang, but alright. We'll go with it. Fight on, fight on. And Joe comes back. And Andor. Now see, this just proves it has to be some kind of cloning facility. I mean, I've killed these guys how many times now? And they just keep coming back. Keep coming back. Keep coming back. <clears throat> I should play Battletoads sometime again. Uh, I suck horribly at that game. But, you know, I don't know, maybe I can find some kind of cheat or hack that gives me infinite lives and you guys can just watch me die a hundred thousand times trying to beat Battletoads. Who knows, it might be fun, might not. God damn you, Ray. I hate your show, too. doo doo -ba doo Run! Okay. Drink! Gee! Oil drum! Sandwiches! Yeah, I pwned the sandwiches as well. And Ondor just pile drove to me. It's the only thing I like about Haggard in this game is the fact that you can use, like, pile drivers and a lot of cool looking wrestling moves, polish hammer, and so on and so forth. God damn you, Andor. Damn it. I hate you, Andor. I hate you, Obobo. There you go. And see, you piss me off and you die. Just like those hundreds of women that were coming after me. <laughs> now you know what would be a good twist in this game. If it turned out these were just all harmless civilians and guy was just out of his mind and completely insane. Run around, beating up and killing harmless people. Oh wait, I think they used that storyline in Silent Hill. Never mind. Neither way, Silent Hill did it better too. I don't know. You know, I got a new goal in life. Maybe I should like go to college do all the computer classes and whatnot, so I can make video games. I'm, my, my new goal is to make a fighting game with a good storyline. Because really, there aren't that many out there. In fact, I don't think there are really any. Sure, Mortal Kombat had a storyline, but it wasn't necessarily a good storyline. There were good elements to it, but for the most part, it was just your average fighting game storyline. And a lot of it didn't make sense. But I guess, then again, that's the nature of fighting games, because how can you have a real storyline if there's no essential main character? I don't know. It would take a lot of branching pathways, but yeah. I think it would be possible to do a fighting game with a good storyline. So. <coughs> Die, Hunter. And... You die too, Fat Jack. Well, not gonna have time for the boss yet. So, I'll be seeing you guys in my next video. Final Fight 3, Part 4, where I meet up with uh, Stray. <laughs>